something new just happened oh okay you know what let's talk about this dragon ball thing so so right now there's new york comic-con going on and they had a panel for dragon ball z i'm sorry if i do not have enough dragon ball z fans but dragon ball z is my life okay i've mentioned this before this entire row i have over here is dragon ball this is all dragon ball my friends and I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, and like many Dragon Ball Z fans, I have been waiting for season two of Dragon Ball Super, where they continue on from the manga and have us go up against Moro or anything like that, right? And they came out with a trailer for a new series, and I just don't know how to feel about it. You guys, you guys can watch it here with me. Let's figure this out. Nineteen eighty-four. I've watched the original Dragon Ball. It's great. I love little Goku and seeing him meet all his friends that he'll eventually have a yeah. I thought that was all great. It's great. And then Dragon Ball Z came, and it was like peak for me. I I remember spending a whole summer being Dragon Ball Z, and it was just life. I'm not a big fan of GT. I know some people like it, but I really didn't. Then we had Dragon Ball Super. And although the first couple of ours were eh, uh, once we, once we got to like Goku Black, uh, Mazu, and then the the Tournament of Power, oh, I loved all that. I thought that was all awesome. I thought it was great. I wanted them to continue, right? And so now, oh, and, and the Dragon Ball Z Broly movie, super movie. This one was okay. They just did it to power up Gohan and pick them up. I was like, eh, it's whatever. It didn't feel earned. So now we're moving on here. This is where I was kind of like, uh... animation is beautiful. I will say that. Now, from what I understand, this is supposed to take place between Super and Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if it's canon though or a side story. That's my. <laughs> All new here. The Debaris Demons? It's canon? Dang it. Well, I guess not dang it. Let's see if it's a good show first before I, I plunge it. I'll talk about why I'm not that excited for it, but why it could be exciting. Like, the most exciting part of me right now is the animation. Sure. Animation is beautiful. So, essentially, they're going to turn the entire cast into kids. And, like, yeah. Goku as a kid is cute, and I'm glad he gets his power bolt back. We've never really seen Vegeta as a kid. Uh, I, could, I just, I'm not crazy about it. Trunks goes back to being... Right when we thought Trunks and Goten were going to become teenagers, they reduced their age, man. It does look good, though. Like, animation-wise, I love seeing the power bolt back. It just it just feels kid kiddish to me. And I'm like a lot of the Dragon Bar fans are like adults. Big people. Is this just a way for like adult parents to show Dragon Ball to their kids in a way? Animation is cool. Okay, so Dragon Ball Diama, Daima, Jamama, Dragon Ball Jamama. I'm just not crazy about the idea of all of them being kids. Now, it is it is interesting because there are some people you wouldn't expect to like be kids here. So like they had Hercule as a kid, I think is what they show. At first I thought that was supposed to be Krillin, like just all with a tan, but that's Hercule. So they have Hercule, who's gonna be a kid. That's just interesting on its own. Krillin's in there. His wife and all that the kai gods and then master roshi as a kid literally looks like krillin to me krillin with a nose <laughs> that's gonna be so funny if with them being kids does it also depower them are they not as strong is this just a way to have everybody kind of be on the same level is that what it is going on here i wasn't crazy about it and so they they also came out with um a synopsis that like further explains the pot the plot and it just didn't sound that interesting to me. Let me see if I can find the 
the actual synopsis of it because they posted it up here. It was a message from Akira Toriyama. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know it's here. I know it's here. Type in message. There we go. Kind of explaining the plot. So, hello, I'm Akira Toriyama. I'm currently working on a new Dragon Ball. The title is Dragon Ball Daima. Daima is a made up term, which in Japanese characters would be, or in English would be something like evil. So, technically, it's Dragon Ball Evil. Due to a conspiracy, Goku and his friends are turned small in order, and in order to fix things, they'll head off to a new world. It's grand adventure with intense action in an unknown and mysterious world. Uh, since Goku has to make up for his petite size, he uses his Nimbus, oh, oh, oh the Neo Bolt, the Power Bolt, which I do like the Power Bolt. It's been so long since we've seen it. I always thought it was Power Bolt. I'm finding out now it's power pole, my my dumb butt, to fight something not seen in a long time. I came up with this story and setting as well as of a lot of designs. I'm actually putting a lot more into this than usual. Things will unfold that uh, things will unfold that close in on the mysterious of the Dragon Ball world. Hope you all enjoy these different from usual battles that are cute and powerful. Okay, like, yeah, it's cute, but I don't know. I was really wanting them to continue Dragon Ball Super. I'm not sure why they're holding back on that. Is it just, like, they want the manga to finish, so that way they can have, like, an idea of where to go with the story from Super? Because I know they take a lot of inspiration from the current manga, and they make their own changes. Maybe they're just not far along enough in the current manga. They just they just don't know where to go with the story. And so this is kind of like a side thing we're going to have. Fall 2024. I'm not crazy about it. Okay, so someone's saying let him cook. Let him cook. All right. I, I, I'm I, not too crazy about it. As a Dragon Ball fan, I'm slightly disappointed. But, I mean, I, like I said, animation is beautiful. Uh, I'm still confused on, like, how this fits in, whether it's canon or if it is its own side story. Because I do like the progression that was being made with Dragon Ball. Like, even the idea with the different universes in the Power Tournament, I would have loved to have gone to the different universes and explore that more, especially the Saiyans, because Vegeta was, like, really getting attached to them and wanting to train them, and I thought there'd be more of a rematch with some of the other characters there. I don't know. So, I wasn't too crazy about this. I, I really wanted this to be more related to Super. I'm going to watch it and give it a chance, because, like I said, the animation is beautiful, so the fight scenes will be good. I'm just looking for something that more progresses the main story in an interesting way. And this just feels like we're taking a step backwards and we're just doing this kind of like kid version of Dragon Ball Z. Not literally, but I mean like like for real, it's like it's like for kids. It, it doesn't feel like it's for the the uh, the adult audience that is currently checking in on Dragon Ball Z. But that's just uh that's just my opinion there. That's what I think and uh I definitely wanted to get that off my chest there.